Hey everybody, Joe Diano here, aka Twisted Gemini, and welcome to Twisted Gemini TV. Um, I just wanted to make this short video to talk to you guys about the situation that happened the other day with Conor McGregor. And um, basically, there was a situation between one of Conor's teammates and um, Habib Namagomedov, the new UFC lightweight champion. Congratulations, Khabib. Um, and Conor McGregor basically got 20 guys, chartered a private plane from Ireland to here in New York because the incident with Conor happened at the Barclays Center. Um, Conor got in because somebody let him in and the guys and McGregor and these hoodlums basically attacked the bus that a lot of UFC fighters were on that were to take part in the um, UFC 223 event. And Connor basically took a uh, metal dolly and threw it at the bus. It shattered a window, and the person sitting in the seat, Michael Chiesa, was cut um, on the face and I believe the hands, maybe. Um, at least in the forehead, he was uh, bleeding. And um, also another fighter, Ray Borg, got glass um, that went into his eyes and cut his... Um, uh, his eyeball, I believe Dana White said. Now, the thing about this is the fact that Connor was looking for Habib Nurmagomedov, the guy who his teammate had the issue with the day before. And Connor didn't know what seat Habib was on, was in rather, on the bus. So he just basically, him and his hoodlum friends went after every seat in the bus. And put a lot of people in danger um, two fights were basically canceled because of the situation so four fighters lost out on a, a payday and um, following this people actually questioned Connor's mental or emotional stability if there was something wrong with him um, because prior to this, um, a while back, Connor was in the audience at a Bellator event to support his teammate. And um, after his teammate won, Connor jumped into the, uh, to the octagon and was celebrating. This was before anybody was allowed to get into the octagon because um, the doors were still closed because the fight just ended. The referee of the fight tried to get Connor out and Connor shoved the referee. Now, for me, I don't think anybody should be questioning whether Connor was mentally um, in the right place, emotionally in the right place, because the fact is this guy took the time to find 20 guys or more, because that's what they said um, that it was over 20, took the time to charter a plane from Ireland to New York. He took the time to go to the arena, let whoever it was let him in, and he took the time to take objects and throw it at the bus. That to me is premeditated because like I said, he took 20 guys, over 20 guys, whatever it was, and was looking to do harm to Habib Nurmagomedov. So he was mentally in the right state of mind. For me, that's premeditated, like I said. So he was in the right frame of mind. He was in the right frame of mind. He knew what he was doing. He knew the um, ramifications for what he was doing. He knew what he was doing was illegal. He knew that it would put people in danger, and he still did it anyway. So I don't think anybody should pretend that, oh, maybe he wasn't in the right frame of mind. Maybe he wasn't emotionally where he uh, should have been. And things like that, that's bullshit. You guys know it, I know it, and the people saying it know it. He was of the right frame of mind because he did it, and you'd have to be in the right frame of mind to do the things that he did. He, he calculated, he planned everything out, and he followed through. He knew what he was doing. Secondly, it really, to this day, bothers me when anybody in the UFC puts this guy over. Like, I was watching the post-fight show, and um, 
the people that were on the show were Karen Bryant, Sugar Rashad Evans, and Bill Bisbing. Now, the thing about this that bothers me, guys, is the fact that when the question came up of who Habib should fight next, two out of the three, or possibly all three, um, said that they felt Habib should fight Connor because the UFC is trying to get into Russia and they felt Connor versus Habib was the fight to make due to the fact that the Habib Nurmagomedov Tony Ferguson fight has been canceled multiple times because either or got injured. Um, and for me, that's just dumb and it's a waste of time and it doesn't need to happen because. Number one, you give Conor McGregor a title opportunity at Habib Nurmagomedov. It's just rewarding him for bad behavior, for what he did to the bus, and to all the people that got hurt, and to all the people that were on it, period. You're rewarding him for basically doing nothing, okay? Because back in 2015... Conor McGregor became the UFC featherweight champion by defeating Jose Aldo. Conor McGregor never fought to defend his title at uh, a featherweight. He took a couple of fight. He took a fight with Nate Diaz, did a rematch with Nate Diaz, and then he moved on a year later to win the UFC lightweight title. To which the featherweight title that he didn't defend was vacated went back to Jose Aldo, and now it's with Max Holloway. Like I said, won the UFC lightweight title and never fought in 2017 at all. To which he was stripped of the title, and there was the fight last night, to which, like I said, Habib Nurmagomedov is the champion now. And fact, the fact that, like I said, that... Um, He's never defended a title, and you want him to go into a, mat, a fight for a title. It's just going to be a revolving door, okay? He's, he could win the title. He's going to go home. He's not going to defend it. You're not going to see him at all for God knows how long this time, and it's just going to end up being stripped of him again. Plus, like I said, he doesn't deserve it. You're, he's just, you're just rewarding him for bad behavior, okay? The fact is, in my opinion, and I've said this for a long time, Conor McGregor is a fucking bum. He doesn't care about MMA. He doesn't care about the, um, the UFC, and he doesn't care about the marks. And yes, if you're a Conor McGregor fan, you're a mark. He doesn't care about you either. He doesn't care about your support, because if he did, he wouldn't do things that he does. He wouldn't do things how he does and shit like that. Okay, you guys, you put him over, oh, like he's the oh, um, second coming of Jesus. He's the resurrection of Jesus. The guy doesn't give a shit about MMA. Stop putting the guy over. He doesn't give a shit about you. If he did, he'd, he, he'd, earn, it, he'd earn it, your support, by fighting. And he doesn't. He doesn't give a shit about you people that support him. And the fact is, all of you people, like I said, you're a bunch of marks. And I don't care if you don't like being called marks. You're a mark if you support this guy when you know he does nothing but bullshit. You know he's doing wrong. Stop supporting him. I don't care, folks, how much money he brings in, how many pay-per-view buy rates he brings in, how many pay-per-view sales he brings in, all that crap. I don't give a shit, okay? Conor McGregor is the worst thing to happen to MMA because like I said he doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself okay to put this in perspective for you guys David Arquette the actor who won the WCW title in WCW has more credibility as champion than Conor McGregor does why because Arquette actually showed up for a title defense folks Conor McGregor has never successfully defended a title that he's won because he's never defended a title. Okay, you know, so like I said, stop putting him over because he doesn't deserve it. And when it comes to the people of the UFC, for me, I feel like the only reason why they put this guy over 
is because they work for the UFC and Conor McGregor is Dana White's golden boy. Because the fact is, if that wasn't the case, how could the, say for example, the host of US, UFC tonight, Kenny Florian, uh, uh, the regular, his regular co-host, Daniel Cormier, uh, Bisbing, who, whoever the case may be, whoever the person may be in the case, rather, how could you sit, sit there and say that this guy deserves an opportunity to fight for the title? Uh, uh, um, he's the only fight that makes sense and all this other crap. How could you say that knowing the things that he's done? Knowing the things that he doesn't do? Okay. For me, the only reason why people, um, like I said, associated with the UFC say these things is because they're associated with the UFC. Okay, it doesn't make fucking sense to me, like I said, to give this guy a title to fight again, because once again, he's not going to defend it, and it's just going to be stripped to him anyway. Okay, he's a bad influence, he's, he's bad for business in my opinion, because, he, like I said, he's selfish. In all the years that the UFC has been in existence, Every fighter that's had a title has defended it. And let, and let me backtrack here for a second. When it came to Tony Ferguson versus Habib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson got injured, and just like that, he was stripped of the title. But yet Conor McGregor has sat at home for a year, before or close to, before he was stripped of a title, and then stripped again. Okay, Robert Whitaker the UFC middleweight champion wanted to take part in, I believe, the Pan Am Games. Don't don't quote me on that because I'm not totally sure, but maybe it was the Pan Am Games. And the UFC threatened to strip him of the UFC middleweight title. But yet, Conor McGregor, as the UFC lightweight champion, was allowed to go into boxing to fight Floyd Mayweather. And why was that? Because what the UFC didn't make it, wouldn't have made any money off of Robert Whitaker like they did the UFC um, the McGregor fight. I bet you that was the case. So ultimately, for me, I just think you know a lot of MMA fans are like me, are seeing things like I've said all along that Conor McGregor is bad for MMA. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. Now I've got a family member who know somebody that lives in Ireland. And this person told my family member that a lot, if not all, of people in Ireland, maybe it's not all, maybe it is just some, are disappointed in Conor McGregor for what he did to the bus, to those fighters that were on the bus, especially to those people that got hurt. They're disappointed in him, they're let down by him. Folks, people daily, weekly, monthly, are starting to realize that Conor McGregor, like I said, is a bum, doesn't deserve the things that he's being given. It's time for the Dana White and the UFC to get that through their head. Stop putting this guy over, stop treating him like he, he he's um, a rock star, he's Mick Jagger, he ain't Mick fucking Jagger, okay, he's not above MMA. And once again, to all you McGregor marks, Stop supporting him because he doesn't deserve it and he doesn't give a shit. Well, that's the end of this video. Make a comment and I'll comment. Good, bad, or ugly. If, you, if you're a Conor McGregor fan, you want to trade back insults, you want to argue about this shit, I'll argue about with you because ultimately in the end, guys, I refuse to like Conor McGregor. I refuse to respect Conor McGregor. And I refuse to think that this guy's worth anything because he's not worth anything. All he's doing is taking up space. So in my opinion, fuck Conor McGregor. So once again, comment, I'll comment. Like, and once again, if you guys want to argue about it, I'll argue back and forth with you all day long. Because, like I said, ultimately, don't like him, don't need him, don't want to see him, don't give a shit about him. Until next time, this is Twisted Gemini TV, signing off.